Hello boys and girls, it is JD here back with another weekly video and I'm so excited to see you guys. Alright, so it is the last Sunday in the month of October and again, our big question is, who made you to do big things? Do you guys remember the answer to that question? Who made you to do big things? God made you to do big things. Awesome job. Alright, so for today, we're going to talk about all the different stories that we heard about David this, this month, all right? And so, we're gonna go over a few things, but look at this. I have a bag of some things here, all right? And I'm gonna pull some things out of this bag and we're gonna see what I have, all right? All right, so let's see. Hmm, what's first? What's in this bag? like David because God chose David to be king. Whoa. Okay. Leave that there. Let's see what else is in our bag. Let's see. Oh, I think I got it. Look at that. It's a sheep. Isn't it cool? Man. Just like the sheep that David saved from a hungry lion. Look at that. All right. What else do you think I have in this bag? Can you take a guess? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Look at that. It's a rock. Goliath with a sling and a rock. Crazy, isn't it? Look how cool that rock is. Alright, let's pull one more thing out. Let's see. Oh. I got it. I'm almost got it. I almost got it. Almost there. when David helped Mephibosheth and let him eat with him at his table. Ah, that's really cool, isn't it? So we talked about David a lot and I just want you to know God used David and just like he used David, he can use you too and he can use you to do big things like he used David to use big things. God made David king um, God allowed him to feed and help his friend Mephibosheth. Uh, he helped to feed it Goliath. Uh, he did all these things. And God can use you to help him as well. God can use you to help anybody. All right. It was so good to see you guys here and to show you what all was in my bag. All right, guys, I will see you next week. We're talking about something something new. All right. Bye.
Grace is always better I'll be a super duper kid forever and ever and ever backyard every day playing all by himself I mean it's great to play alone sometimes but don't you like playing with friends me too I think someone should go play with Liam but I wonder who I know this is a job for super Lucy there are lots of fun things I could play with Liam like <gasps> I could take my bubble maker Or I could share my sidewalk chalk. Or we could kick my soccer ball back and forth. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Planning a super mission, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm going to play with the new kid next door because he's been playing all alone. That's a wonderful thing to do. God made you to do big things. It's true. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oh, I've got a Bible story for me and you. That should do it. <laughs> Oh, hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. I just replaced the batteries in this for my niece. She uses it to play her music and practice for her dance class. <laughs> she loves to dance. Ooh, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha-ha, <laughs> great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders! Ready? Uno, dos, tres! Hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. <laughs> yep, that's perfect. Okay, so all month long, we've been hearing stories from the Bible about a guy named David. Whoa! Look at David dance! I think he's celebrating someone special. Do you know who he's celebrating? God! <laughs> David's dancing as a way to praise and thank God. David knew that God made him to do big things. What big things did David do? Well, let's play a game and see if we can remember. I'm going to ask you some questions about David, and you shout out the answer. Are you ready? Question number one. When David was a shepherd watching his flock of sheep, an animal came and took one of the sheep. What kind of animal was it? Was it a giant octopus? 
Or was it a mighty eagle? Or was it a lion? What's the right answer? Shout it out! Yes! A lion! <laughs> That's right! The lion grabbed the sheep, but God made David to do big things, and David saved the sheep. Okay, here we go. Question number two. David did something really big that other people were afraid to do. Was it take everyone some pizza? Was it build a snowman? Or did David challenge a giant named Goliath? Which one? Shout it out! <laughs> if you said challenge the giant Goliath, you are right. God made David to do big things, and he knocked down the giant. <laughs> okay, last question. When David became king, he helped someone. Who did David help? Did David help a kangaroo? Did David help a woman cross the road? Or did David help Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth? What's your answer? Shout it out! <laughs> That's right! God made David to do big things, and he took care of Mephibosheth. Great playing, everyone! God made David to do so many big things. And that's why David celebrated and praised God by dancing and making music and singing songs. <laughs> David praised God because he wanted to say thank you. Now, raise your hand if you think God made you to do big things too. Wow, <laughs> so many hands. And you're right. God made us to do big things, which means we can dance too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. Ooh. So there's your story, and it's all true. David sang and danced to thank God. And we can all praise God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, David did so many big things. And David praised God to say thank you. God made me to do big things, and I can praise God, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know what I can do with Liam. We can dance and praise God together. Whatever the day brings, God made me to do big things. See you later. God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6